When translating with Matecat, you can use your terminology. You can do that in two ways. One, you can create a glossary in the transition editor. Two, you can import a glossary in the transition memory and terminology panel. Today, I'm going to show you how to import a glossary into the tool. First of all, let's have a look at the glossary for Matecat. Glossaries are spreadsheet files. They should have at least two columns. Column A for the source language, column B for the target language. Optionally, you can add a column C for comments related to the terms. The most important part is the first line, where you can see the language code. In this case, I specified English US and Italian for Italy. But where do you find these codes? Let's go back to Makecat to find out. When on Makecat.com, click on the API link in the bottom bar. Then, from the left bar, select Supported Languages. These are all the languages supported by Matecat. And as you can see, for each of those, you can see the language code. This is exactly the code that you need to use in the glossary. OK, now let's go back to Matecat and try importing the glossary. So let's click on Settings, and then select the resource where you want to import the glossary. Let's pick the first one. Click on the arrow next to Import TMX and select Import Glossary. Choose File and Confirm. Now, this may take a few seconds or several minutes, depending on the size of the glossary. Uh, once the glossary is imported, it's added to your private resource. There. To use it for a project, you just need to select that resource. That's it. That's all you need to do. One last word of advice, you may change the description of this resource to make it clear that it contains a TM and glossary. That's it. It's easy, right? Try it at matecat.com.